Welcome back. All this week, we've been sharing stories to celebrate you, Andrea. This is your final newscast here at Channel 9, and tomorrow is your first day of retirement. Uh, there are many of us here at the WSA 9 family who have benefited from your intelligence, your integrity, and your journalism over the last 37 years here. And we want to leave you with these heartfelt thoughts. The first thing I think about when I think about Andrea Roan is class act. Classy. Class act. The gold standard for excellence. One of the smartest people I've ever known. The legend. What a professional. 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 Cool under fire. Always encouraging. Positive influence. An inspiration. A role model. Truly an inspiration. A real inspiration for all of those who have watched you. Somebody to look up to. Lovely. Lovely. As nice in person as she appears on TV. Very simply, local news royalty. I know how dedicated she is to, uh, to, to her faith uh, and to this community. I don't think anybody ever worked harder than Andrea Roan. The weekend only meant that uh, that was time to go to her other job, doing community service. And I've just marveled at how you work long hours and then show up looking fabulous at late night charity events. You always make time to give back to the community. There is nobody in this newsroom, Andrea, whose life has changed more lives than you. You are the kind of woman who pulls up other women, who gives them advice and gives them a helping hand. Andrea. I am so blessed to call you my friend. My life is better knowing that you are in it and so honored to have worked alongside you with your advocacy for breast cancer. I enjoyed working with you on one of the things that is near and dear to your heart and that's trying to prevent breast cancer with the News Babes Bash. She is such a solid journalist and has brought Channel 9 so much credibility for all of these years. She hated mistakes. And, uh, and that's a good thing because it, it pushed us all to a higher standard uh, to expect more from, from one another. No matter how many times I screwed up, you always let me come back the next day. Andrea, it's been 37 years of a lot of fun and hard work. Elections, political conventions, royalty, popes, cardinals, you name it. And all the years I worked with you, we worked mornings, noons, evenings, never ever saw you raise your voice to anyone. You've been an inspiration to me and everyone you've touched here at the station. It's been so great working with you from buddy check to health alerts to family health and just seeing your smiling face every day. 37 years. Wow, Andrea. What an incredible run. And through it all, an anchor in the truest sense of the word. Calm, steady, so supportive of all your colleagues. Andrea Rome, retire and say what? Andrea, we're gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss seeing the outfits of the day, the shoes. We just wanted to wish you all the best as you head into retirement. Of course, I was your favorite producer, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> she used to tell me I was her favorite even long after you were gone. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for just being the person you are. You know I love you so much. I can't wait to see what you're going to be doing to save your part of the world from now on, even in your retirement. I know you're going to do it. Love you so much. Congratulations on a truly stellar career and the exciting next chapter ahead. You deserve all the best in whatever you do from here on in. I only wish that I had planned like you so I could retire when I was young too. It's been an absolute joy working with you, especially on the noon show these last two years. Your legacy is going to live on here in D.C. forever. Andrea, I just want to say thank you so much for being a blessing in my life. You have been a tremendous person and a source of inspiration and in my foundation here. It's such a thrill to have come back and be part of Chapter 2 with you and to have had a few more days working together before you chose to move on to the next gig. And, you know, when you get there, call me. I'm still available. Congratulations on your retirement. I am going to miss you. We will miss you, but I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next in the next chapter of your life. Congratulations and enjoy not getting up so early in the morning. Get some sleep, you've learned. Working with you was a blessing and surreal, so I wish you the best of luck moving forward. I really hope you enjoy this next stage of your life and try not to work too hard because I know some people work hard post-retirement. I'm going to miss you, darling. We're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you a whole lot. You're going to be missed by everyone in Washington, D.C. I love you. I'm going to miss you. I am going to miss the hell out of you. 
You've earned this. Enjoy it. You will be missed, but appreciated and cherished. We are really going to miss you. We definitely going to miss you. Thank you so much for being the beautiful woman that you are. Congratulations, Andrea, on your retirement. It's been a joy working with you. Wish you all the best in the next chapter. We'll miss you. We love you. And I am grateful to have been among the many that you've inspired with your life's work for my life's work. Mwah. All the best. I love you. Bye-bye. You've been a sister and a mother and a mentor, and I'm going to miss you a ton. Can't wait to see what you're up to next. I just personally want to thank you, uh, uh, personally and professionally, uh, for all that you've given to us. Uh, we love you, Godspeed, uh, and thank you for your time and for having passed through here for all these years. Andrea, congratulations on a wonderful 37-year legacy here at WUSA 9. You've been an absolute jewel for our community, but most importantly, a wonderful member of our team. Congratulations, and we'll miss you, but the lights will always be on for you. Andrea, you are in love. <laughs> You're determined to make me cry. <laughs> I, I do want to let you know that Mayor Bowser has also sent this letter to you, and we're going to read it to you as well. Uh, in this letter, she congratulates you on your retirement, saying in part that during your tenure, you haven't just covered the news. You've always been uh, one of our city's strongest advocates for women's health and wellness. Thank you for using your Buddy Check Not initiative to highlight the importance of early detection in the fight against breast cancer. On behalf of the residents of our nation's capital, you have my sincerest thanks, congratulations, and best wishes for every future success. Mayor Bowser, District of Columbia. My goodness. And now we're here with our whole family, <laughs> <laughs> as well as our President and General Manager, All Richard right. Dyer. Well, after all of that, each of us are going to go and just say one more last thing. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. But you deserve it. I hope you felt the love. Actually, we all were reminded of how much we each individually love you uh, for all that you've done over a super long period of time, over 37 years. But we know that you have more to do. And while we will miss you, we're excited to hear what you and Michael will do with the rest of your lives. But Bye. we love you. And that is as sincere as we all can make it because you have deserved it and you are local news royalty and we mean it with all our hearts so congratulations and we will miss you we love you so you deserve it There was something you wanted to say? Yeah, you know, Andre, I bet when you uh, walked in, uh, you didn't think this was going to be a temporary gig, did you? <laughs> <laughs> and 37 years. When I think about all the times we spent, the, the hours and hours covering snowstorms, the mornings, the nights, mm. all of it. You know, we work with people in our lives who we, some we like, some we don't like. But there's few people that I can truly say I have complete admiration and fondness for. And you were in, in my heart anyway, rarefied territory. And I hope I find people to join you. But right now, you stand alone up there. Thank you, Howard. Right. And again, Howard's wearing pink and always the greatest supporter of Buddy Check 9 on air. And yeah. I thank you for that so, so very You're very much. welcome. I'm, I'm yeah. so honored to have sat here, stood here, supported you, watched you, learned from you, uh, confided in you. You know, your, your little cubicle was a safe haven yes. <laughs> for, so many, for so many of us. And, you know, we needed that. Sometimes we just need a place we can go where we can say something safely. And you provided so much beyond that. But that was just one of the many things that you've done, not just for me, but for everybody who's standing here. When we needed Andrea, just needed her ear, she was there and always with so much grace and professionalism. The chair I, I can't believe I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you can go in the cone of silence and just have your moments there and know that well, I'm thinking Hopefully you'll you. answer the phone when yeah. you call. When you call, <laughs> I will answer the phone. Well, you got some good times ahead for you coming up thank now you. that retirement is here. And when, we thank you so Nora much. When did say work on my swing? I got emoji <laughs> golf balls from my dear friend <laughs> that I am not going to use because they would end up in the water hazard. So it's going to be on a clear yeah. stretch of fairway that I will use those balls. And I, so, as I told you, whatever that meant, I was yeah, like, okay, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it if Howard would ever stop the rain. Oh, well, I know. We'll it, get you some golf. We can eventually get there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to have one final word oh, from you coming oh, up after me, the break. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>